Oh, oh. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, wow, look at that dog. <laughs> We didn't have the best start to the weekend. Simon's lost his bag off the back of the boat. <laughs> just found it. <laughs> we hadn't realised until we were about to launch the boat that all of Simon's gear was missing. For the unhappiest man ever to the happiest dude you have ever seen. <laughs> Look at him running. We backtracked over an hour in the hopes of finding it. <laughs> oh, your winch handle! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, wow, look at that dog. <laughs> Yeah, everything's there. It's slightly open, oh, but the camera, right. everything was there still. Oh, mate, that's awesome. Oh, shit. Stopped on the freeway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty silent. It was pretty, that, it was pretty grim for a while yeah, there. It would have been a bit awkward today. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, uh, it's going to be the most unhappy birdie all day. It's like, are we still going down? <laughs> With reports of some big wahoo getting around, we were keen to try our luck chasing these delicious, fast-growing pelagic fish. The first stop for the day was to shoot some oily fish for Bill. There was no shortage of sharks out there on this day. Always a good sign when chasing fish. I actually managed to count eight bull sharks this drift. Luckily for us, they were super chilled and didn't cause us too much trouble. We spotted a few wahoo, but getting close enough proved hard in the clear water. A common challenge with these fish. We'd been seeing Cobia all day, but I don't think any of us were game enough to take this shot. Would you? Come good. Down draft the boat up. Did you bleed yours? Not yet. <laughs> too busy getting in the boat while the sharks are coming. They're fucking coming in hot, hot and fast at the end there. The boat, what happened? Yeah. How many bulls turned up? Five. <laughs> and they're just getting, I was holding mine out of the water and they just kept calming and calming and they're getting more frisky. 
Your mind just kept on taking off again, eh? I had the burly bag and just, it's just spewing burly the whole time. Get over here, quick! Good hair. Death rose. We'd seen a few jelly bean yellowfin tuna eating our chum all day, but they were so fast it was almost impossible to shoot them, which was frustrating because they are some of the best eating fish in the ocean, particularly at that size. If you think peeing in your wetsuit and a drop of blood is something to worry about, you're wrong. This sound is the true dinner bell for sharks, and they'll turn up instantly if they're in the area. To make the most out of these delicious eating fish, be sure to bleed them ASAP and get them into an ice cold slurry fast. <laughs> it was my time to shine. With everyone on board with a fish, I was itching for an opportunity to land some dinner for myself, when finally a lone wahoo presented a long shot. The next five minutes would be an absolute roller coaster of emotions as I'd forgotten my backup belt reel. I looked around for Simon who knew this and was already waiting for me to clip on his belt reel. Okay, My line went slack and I thought I'd lost it. After a tug of war for five minutes with this fish, I'd lost it. But just as I thought it was all over, the wahoo appeared at Simon's fins. Bull shark in tow. We called it a day and headed back to process our catch. Even though I didn't land a wahoo, officially, it was an epic weekend with great fish all around and plenty of delicious sashimi to last us a few months.
Wahoo are usually found in small groups around offshore reefs, drop-offs, current lines and fads. Like most other pelagic fish, wahoo are a fast-growing, short-lived species, making them a highly sustainable fish to harvest. It's thought that the average lifespan of a wahoo is just less than two years, with some growing to the ripe old age of nine years. With some records even showing growth rates of 10 kilos in 10 months. With our catch, we prepared a spicy wahoo and tuna sushi roll. First we steamed the rice, let it cool with a sprinkle of rice vinegar, sugar and salt, and then rolled them up with some fresh veggies. It was absolutely delicious, and there's nothing more rewarding than eating your own hard-earned catch. Be sure to tune in next episode where Michael and I head north in search of a floating home for our next big adventure. Check out our Instagram for recent updates and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any episodes. Cheers.